Hello guys, welcome back to Ian Stein TV. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you two things. That is Canada job application and how to create a resume for this job application. Many people have asked this question that I should make a video on how to apply for Canada job. And this is the official job website for the government of Canada. So guys, watch this video to the end to see how to apply for this job because there are two ways you have to determine if a job is accepting international applicants or the job is only accepting people in the Canada because that is the technique you need to know which job is for you because some people don't know and they get up working a lot with no result. So guys, the CV part is also the most important. At the end, we are going to draft a video, a, a CV on how, that is a resume on how to apply for this job and we have demonstrated and everything that you need to know about this video so the resume is also attached with the job applications the position that we have chosen a video about a resume about that same position so if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe like and share the video as we continue to bring you more updates degree or any other the level of education being that higher with nothing here you have to go and cut and type on your browser Canada job bank for foreign workers you can see I've done it before and you can see already pointer is showing and it is up you click on this um, Canada job banks for foreign uh, for foreign workers here it will bring you to this website guys and there's one thing I will let you know you we have to look if the job is accepting foreign workers we have done this before but we want to do it be, uh, now because many people have been asking it is in the previous video you see a foreign candidate from outside Canada anywhere here you click you are going to get to that job so temporary foreign workers temporary foreign workers search and okay let's take this one temporary foreign workers it will search and bring us the information we are looking for let us see what is up for this uh, Japan Canada this is an official website guys as it is loading network seems to be slow and uh, when we get to this official website we can see it's powered by government of Canada both in French and in English here you can equally create your profile and you can obtain a CV in the same website but for the fact that we came to apply for job let's look at the job application process then I will share with you how to create a CV in the same website a Canadian format CV for foreign uh, workers for all for foreign job seekers so let's see these are the number of jobs up, uh, available during the time i'm shooting this video you see 11,655 job postings and what do you have to do you just have to click on this uh, job openings you just have to click on this 11,655 jobs and it will bring you here when it brings you here then you start seeing jobs you start exploring jobs then this is for example you need any other occupation you can type here that you see a uh, farm workers you can type here and change the location here if you need any other job occupation so let's see here we see handler materials cyber security consultant uh, farm workers in harvesting cooked uh, Coked again, room attendant, vineyard worker, uh, security guard, supervisor, web. Okay, let's not go that far. Let's look here with um, farm work harvesting. We are going to check the eligibility of this job if it is accepting international workers or not. So, here, farm workers, here is a job that was posted when it's you are going to see we have not seen the job posting a date but this is not that important because already we have seen a red flag here that is this job is not for foreign workers because when you scroll here who can apply to this job you see 
only apply to this job if you are a citizen uh, a canadian citizen a permanent or a temporary resident of canada you have a valid canadian work permit you are not authorized to work in canada do not apply this if you are not authorized to work in canada of course we are looking for vacancies that authorize outsiders to also take part in the application so farm worker harvesting is not bad this job was posted on the 24th of december and now let's look at uh, any we are going to look at a job that doesn't require that much uh, qualifications look at cook here we check we take a look at cook cook here was posted cook is not also eligible when you find it this danger here know that it's not for foreign workers if you are not in canada you cannot apply for this job so this are the key uh, aspect you need to take note of what about room attendant let's look at room attendant room attendant was posted on 21st of uh, december and room attendant here let's look at room attendant room attendant is not also accepting foreign workers so these are the key issues people are facing out and when they apply for job they don't call back they will say nothing is working it's a uh, it's a scam it's not a scam guys we look at uh, i'm not taking this uh, pharmacy technician because you probably need some high uh, level of qualifications for this one but i want to take a job that doesn't need much qualifications like a degree and so on so these ones are not recruiting uh, foreign workers like uh, there are also positions that we see specialized cleaner auto mobile aesthetic a food counter attendant let's look at food counter attendant here not recruiting foreign workers so this is the work you have to put in guys to look for a job is not just a it's not just good money so luckily we find administrative assistance here that is accepting foreign workers and you see the job description here uh, 25 dollars uh, per hours and 40 hours per week and you can see this uh, employer has applied for a labor market impact assessment that is LMI uh, to hire a foreign workers to fill labor or skill shortages on a temporary basis so here this is where you take note of this spot that they are accepting foreign workers you say they ask here you are not seeing danger here you are seeing instead a rounded world map and it is seeing who can apply to this job you said the employer accept applications from canadian citizens and a permanent uh, or temporary resident of canada other candidate with or without a valid canadian work permit and you see if you want to apply for this job click on show mark then you are going to come here this job is being advertised until january 2nd so guys for those of you who are interested you can always visit this website for full applications there are job posting every day unfortunately this vacancy is accepting and they are looking for one staff and foreign staff it's a verified job as you can see on the job bank so to apply you click on show how to apply how to apply now it's very simple guys you are going to copy copy this email you are going to copy this email go to your email box type on compose email you put you see where they write to for example if i open my email here if i open my email here i will bring this compose as i bring compose i copy this email i copy this i get to copy this i come here i put on to here then you put job application as the subject job application job application for what what are we uh, administrative assistance for administrative assistance administrative job application for administrative administrative assistance 
administrative assistance and you put whatever thing you want to put here on the write up and later on you have to attach your cv you have to attach your cv i believe if you are a job applicant you should know how to apply as you are going to enter compose here you type some short notes explaining what is on what is going on what you are applying for and you come back here and move straight to the next job so guys make sure you exploit it judiciously in order to keep this video short guys i will rush quickly to share with you how to create a resume on this same website i promise you and if we have only seen one example as this job is showing accepting international uh, or foreign workers then let's look at my resume you see the supporter here showing my resumes now you click on this my resume it will tell you to sign in if you sign in i, ha I have an account but i don't want to sign in now if you sign in here you are going to be able to get access to the resume as you are going to just remove the details that are on the template and fill in your template and you are good to go let me see what is up here if i can get um, at least a sign in as i have always been there so you sign in here and it's require password password let's see because if i don't show you this guys that means the video is still incomplete right i promise to show you and uh, that is why i'm showing you right away so let's see if my account open then it has opened as it has opened now security questions to verify your identity please answer the following uh, uh, personal security questions what was your favorite subject in school well what was your favorite subject in school I don't know if the security question is going to be answered correctly because uh, actually I don't really get to know uh, terms of use user registration you read the user registration eligibility and everything and you go to agree you agree here because it has been long i haven't signed in these are previous resume i have made for people i have created many resumes for people you just come here you click on create resume create resume i've created a resume for data entry and so on when you click on create resume here it shows title resume uh, language uh, select template then you click on save you select your template you are going to select template traditional for you for you or recent graduate if you are recent graduate you have to select recent graduate or if you are somebody have been working with many experience uh, you have to click on traditional so select language you have to select language i select english if you speak french you select french and what is the job title we are looking for a cv administrative administrative assistant assistant that is the job we add, we have shown an interest in you click on save and it will bring you here this is the information guys here you will put your contact details my my contact details are already there my name and my email professional summary work experience education skills professional credentials volunteering work uh, awards honors and the additional sections so guys that is it and you are good to go you that you don't have anything doing now get to this job bank and exploit the opportunity spend more times and look for the job that match your credentials and move on with your applications i wish you good luck i hope the questions of those who were asking let me demonstrate on how to apply for this job are being answered if you still have some worries guys don't forget to reach out i will be there at the comment section waiting for your feedback Good luck to you all.